Assalamualaikum. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Mahdi Hassan. Today we are gonna cover up the story behind the principle of Archimedes. So the liquids are gonna push you up if you go inside, and the upthrust of the liquids is what you're gonna feel. How much we don't know. Some objects float and some objects sink. Why exactly? So there are a few questions we have got about liquids. First of all, the force that pushes you up is called buoyancy. Uh, the buoyancy of the liquid is the tendency of the liquid to push you up or to keep afloat. This is called buoyancy. In order to answer this, in order to talk more about this, we have to go back in time. Let's our timeline back and up, back and up, and back and up, so that we can go to one king who had a very like every king has very pretty much luxurious ambition of creating the most expensive crown ever built. And what did he do? So the king ordered for the most talented craft maker to come and to craft his crown. The craftsman, the crown maker asked for some 10 kgs of gold all right i'm not just numbering up but some n kgs of gold the king knew it's very expensive but he provided the gold the crown man finally made the crown and gave it to the king the king couldn't just touch this guy right but come on he don't even know this guy he could be corrupt right the corruption is something that's there all the time so the craftsman could have just taken some amount of gold and mixed something else with it and pocketed the remaining part of the gold. So which means uh, the crown looks pretty much like gold at the outside but if you go inside you could have just find other materials inside. So the question for the king was is this crown made of gold completely? Did he use all the gold that I have remained? The craftsman said, yeah, the craftsman said, yeah, weigh the crown. The king weighed the crown and it was 10 kgs, right? But does that mean that all of the gold was 10 kgs? There could be something else inside, right? So the king had no idea what to do. He summoned one of the greatest thinkers of his group who was called Archimedes. He told him, Hey listen, I don't want to break this to figure it out because if I break it, first of all, I'm ruining my craftsmanship and if it turns, if it turns into uh, gold, uh, I will feel like, like a fool. So I don't want to do that. But is there any way in which I can figure out that this crown is made of gold completely and nothing else mixed into it without breaking the crown? So Archimedes went off his famous bathtub, this famous bathtub where he immersed himself into the tub and figured out something and ran outside shouting to the world, Eureka, I have figured out. So what did actually Archimedes figure out when he was in bathtub? So we need something that's only depend on the material but doesn't depend on the shape of the material. So what did Archimedes actually figure out? He saw when he jumped into the water, when he immersed himself into the water, some water came out. Some water was displaced. It just poured out of the tub. And with that, the story goes, could be true or could be false. He could have worked only this for years. But we have the bathtub story, right? Which is much more interesting, isn't it?